This is your standard skew chisel. It's also called a corner chisel because it has this exaggerated corner and the cutting edge is at an angle, which is variable and you can choose which angle you like. This corner is used to get into tight recesses. This back corner is hardly used at all. And what I've done on my ch screw chisel here is I've modified that. So I've taken away that corner altogether and made a cutting edge that goes all the way around and along here. So this is all a cutting edge. And at the same time, what I've done is I've thinned this back here on either side of this back. And that makes this point here much keener. I can use the corner of my skew chisel exactly as before, you know, without any difference, like so, or like this, say to mark this inside line. So I use it very much like a knife. But what I can also do as an alternative to coming like this is to actually push the tool like this on its new um, cutting edge on that corner. And I can make a groove like so. So you can actually use the tool like this. So for example here, having done this sort of movement, what I might do without changing tools is just run that back into the junction like so and clean it out that way. Or I might, for example here, just nick that out there and then instead of changing tools, they're coming across here. So I use it a little bit like a, a knife. So it's nice to have, have a, as, a, as, a, as a little extra. And since you don't use it anyway, why not make more of it? So I'm going to show you now how I go about sharpening this skew chisel. So to begin with, we're going to shape using the uh, coarse grinding stone, grinding wheel. You'll need safety eye protection, you must have that. And you'll need water to dip the tool in to keep it cool. So the first thing we need to do is round off all this lower corner. So, so all this is going to come away. Quite light pressure. And I'm avoiding going up to the very tip because that will overheat very quickly. So once I've got the sort of shape I want, which is sort of that sort of shape, what I need to do is now take away this metal around here and sharpen it all the way along here. So I do it like this. And on the other side like so. And you can see it's starting to remove like that. So I work away. Keep dipping it. It's starting to come all the way around here. So I'm gradually going to work that towards the point, merging in with this bevel a little bit. <coughs> so here's my new bevel coming round like so on both sides, as equal as I can get it, and it's sharp right round to here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just take off a little bit of this corner here, 
where the heel meets the top edge there. And that'll make this blade a little bit thinner. So I'll do that. You see where I'm just on that corner. Sometimes what I do is I use the corner of the grinding wheel like this. So what I'm doing is I'm thinning this back uh, edge here a little bit. So it's a little bit thin there and I've got this now new bevel. So from here I can go on to the, uh, to the sharpening stones proper. This is a coarse bench stone. What I need to do is set it at the cutting angle, which is quite low, 15, 20 degrees. And as I come along like so, I'm going to come around and swing the handle over so that I do all of that bevel. And on the other side, equal angle, I'm going to try and mirror it coming across like this, swinging the handle. So this is an oil stone, we need lots of oil. So I'll consolidate all that grinding from the tip round like this, bringing one sort of bevel and on this side I'll swap hands. See if I can get that all merged together. So it's a bit more here. So the edge is fairly well sharpened already, it's quite close, and for once we get to lose the corners. I'm always saying keep the corners, but here's a case where we're actually making a rounded corner. So when I've got that nicely merged, what I do is I swap this stone for my fine stone. More oil, this is a translucent Arkansas, but any stone will do. And then I actually sharpen this edge exactly the same way. So I'm coming to the tip and round and dropping the hand so that all that edge from here all the way around there is sharpened. And on the other side. So I'll sharpen that in the usual way. And then when I've checked that in wood, make sure it's nice and sharp, I will strop this here. So again, low angle coming the whole edge, so perhaps from there to the tip, like this. And on the other side, right across that edge. So the whole edge is sharp all the way along to here, so that we can use it exactly as I've shown you. So this, this actually now has to be a sharp, a sharp cutting edge. We can use it as I've said. And that's it, there's our modified skew. A little bit more work for me, but that's the idea.